What is up everybody, Azario here, and welcome to a video which I'm sure you can hear me clearly in, thanks to my studio microphone. Y'all know before, when I tried to make videos like this, you could barely hear my voice because the audio in the headset that I'm, in my Turtle Beach headset was so crappy, like I would have to turn the music all the way down, but you guys should still be able to hear me pretty fine. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about... Uh, an important topic that I'm pretty sure everybody on YouTube has been affected by, and that's the adpocalypse. Now, for me personally, you know, I'm a small channel on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm smaller than small. You guys, can, you know, I'm still trying to get my, you know, my channel promoted out to the public and bring more attention to my channel. And, you know, that's a process that takes time, that takes money, that takes, you know, I mean, because you can only do so much from Twitter and youtube and facebook and instagram you can only do so much from all these social media sites by themselves you actually got to go out and promote yourself and maybe like a convention which i have planned on doing but i just never had the time to work and things like that i just never had the time but with that being said i wanted to talk about the ad apocalypse and how it personally affects me because truth be told i kind of feel like i'm being attacked and i'm pretty sure other people feel this way probably more than other people probably like a lot of people feel this way about their personal situations on youtube and it's just like i don't know because you know there are videos that i've uploaded just recently and like you guys can take a look like these are videos that i uploaded like yesterday and the day before and it's like all of them got hit with this whole review requested nonsense like i just uploaded these videos recently and within the past couple days and it's it's one of those paradoxes where it's just like dude like is my channel like on like some type of hit list um is my channel blacklisted or something like what like you know like what's going on here because i don't know what the, the requirements are for and i talked about this before in the past video about like a month or so ago when it comes to this whole adpocalypse thing, like, I don't know what their, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't know what their, like, what their terms are, like, like I don't know what their definition of what's suitable, of what's, you know, what's suitable for the advertisers, because you see right here, they have it all right there. It's like not suitable for most advertisers. For most advertisers, you know, it's not suitable for most of them. So, I don't know what the advertisers are are catering to. Like, I don't know what they want. And of course, I have no way to get in touch with YouTube. Like, I'm just, I'm way too small. Like, I'm not even close to being able. The my best chance of talking to anybody about YouTube to YouTube is me actually going up to the headquarters of YouTube to get that, you know, talked about. And even then they'll probably just brush me off because I'm not big on here at all. So, I just, because when something is happening to you, you want to know why it's happening. You know, like if you get sick, you want to know why you're sick. Did you catch the, you know, like was it contagious from somebody else? And, you know what I'm saying? Like did you get catch the flu from somebody else? Did you get, you know, like your strep throat from somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Did you get herpes from somebody else? <laughs> I'm just making that joke. Like I'm, but yeah, like if when something happens to you, you want to know why it happened. Like if somebody pushed you, you want to know why. If somebody hits you, you want to know why. Even if they were just playing around and y'all friends and y'all just do that, you want to know. Like you want to have an answer to your questions. And this is basically a question like, why is this happening to me? I understand it's happening to damn near everybody on YouTube. But it's like, why is it happening to me? Like, I'm not big at all. Like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not getting over a thousand views per video. That I guess my channel isn't taken as seriously as others. So they feel like they could just bully me. You know what I mean? Because I, even though they said in order to get the view, to, to get your video looked at for the review requested um, deal your your video has to have over a thousand views however I've had videos that had well under 1,000 views 
and I've still been able to get videos, you know, play get ads placed back on the videos like regular. Like it's been a few videos, like you see the green on some of these. Like the, some of these were videos that ended up having, you know, that got overturned. And with me being so small, you know, all the views add up at the end of the month for me anyway. So that goes towards the money that, that I make on YouTube. So it's imperative that I don't get anything like this. Like I don't need anything to stifle it because that's really going to hurt me. And, you know, you guys know I've been trying to get like some donation streams and things like that started only because it helps balance out this nonsense and not only that but it helps speed up the process of me getting the hardware that I'm trying to get and things like that like for example I'm trying to get me a new laptop right now as I speak and um I guess while I got your attention I might as well speak about this because it kind of affects the things that I'm going to be dealing with uh in the coming days especially after the 16th so 10 days from now, me uploading this, I'm going to be busy out the ass until the end of October. So I may not even have time to do the Halloween special. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to make time for the Halloween special. Fuck that. I'm going to make time for it. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I ended up getting a second job that pays a hell of a lot more than my current job does. But here's the thing at my new job at which I start working at October the 16th that's the that, that's my that's the day that I start which is good for me because that's when their new pay period starts meaning that I, I get like a full uh, check like the first time I get paid like it's gonna be like a full check it's not it's not gonna be like me working one week and them holding on to money from the, the one week I was working and, and then having that roll over into the next full you know full pay schedule it's not gonna like I'm getting like the, the my first check is gonna be like the full check from like the new pay schedule so I'm walking in there literally at the beginning of when they start getting paid again like when the new pay schedule starts um however on the 16th when I start at this new job I'm still gonna be until the end of October I'm going to be well until like the second to the last week in October. Let me say that. Um, yeah, until like the second to the last week. So from the 22nd to the 28th, that's going to be my last week in at my current job. So I'm going to be working from 6 o'clock to 10, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. If everything goes as I plan it to, um, because it's not it's no guarantee that they're going to want me to work those night shifts at my old job and I may just end up having to leave and just go you know to my new job and just you know not have or not be able to do what I wanted to um like my new job wants me to work from 7 I believe it's like 7:30 in the morning to like 4:30 in the afternoon and that's Monday through Friday so and and I'll have the weekends off occasionally they'll have me come in for overtime on Saturday but it's like that's not always the case though but Monday through Friday that's my work schedule 7 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon so um, excuse me 7.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon so that's like my regular work schedule uh, and then I will be working from 6pm to 10pm at my old job you know closing for them for like 4 hours uh, for whatever they put me on the schedule like I'm not going to need much but that's another, I guess you could say, good thing about my channel is that I don't depend on donations like that. I understand some people may be in a position where, you know, they feel like they want to get paid for what they're doing. And that's that's fine. But I'm trying to get new hardware and I just can't solely depend on, you know, you guys to help fix my situation. Like, I'm not one of those people that just sits there and just begs for donations for nothing. You know, I'm, I'm over here doing my part here to make this happen as well. So you ain't got to worry about me just being solely dependent on what you guys give me you know um so I'm, I'm really pushing right now so i'm gonna be working two jobs until around like the second to the last week in october to really get this new laptop because it's gonna cost me either i'm gonna end up getting the laptop that cost me about like 1600 or i'm gonna end up getting the custom lap the custom gaming laptop that's gonna cost me around like five thousand which is 
it's it, it's possible, but do I really want to spend five thousand on just like a gaming laptop? Like I'm serious about it, and if need be, I will. But if I can find something for much cheaper that's just, that's going to do what I need needed to do, then by all means, I need something that's going to run OBS Studio. You know, that has the hardware to run OBS Studio, because my current la the, la the my laptop, this current laptop can't run it without getting like you know overworked you know so, so it's just asking for a crash basically and I don't want that to happen um but yeah man it's uh it's gonna be a wild ride towards the end of October so most definitely I'm looking to get everything I need to get new hardware I'm trying to get a PlayStation 4 Pro cause I'm trying to get 5 gigahertz um a 5 gigahertz um internet connection which is going to help boost my upload speed meaning that that's like no lag or at, at, at the very least on my end now when it comes to playing online it's going to be super fast and the playstation pro has that dual band uh hardware in it to where i can connect to a 5 gigahertz connection and i found out that my wireless router actually has a 5 gigahertz uh antenna in it so you know I'm going to be uh, taking advantage of that. And plus, I have a 4K TV anyway. I guess that's another bonus. And the, and the PlayStation Pro, you know, that puts out 4K. And I'm just, you know, looking. And I want to get, like, an Xbox One. I don't know if I'm going to get an Xbox One X, though. I'll probably get an Xbox, Xbox One S. But if need be, I'll get the Xbox One X. Um, if I can find, like, a good refurbished one uh, around the time I'm getting all this stuff. So that's definitely going to be... Uh, all these all these upgrades I'm getting definitely are going to be necessary, so I'm definitely going to need them. Uh, but yeah, man. Other than that, that's basically the majority of everything I wanted to speak on. Like, I don't know why this is happening to me on YouTube, but it's just like if there's a way for to stop it, I'm just I'm trying, man. Like, I'm small on YouTube. I'm not big, you know. So I'm not big at all. So, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess I'll just plug this in. Anybody who wants or cares to um, anybody who wants or cares to donate to the channel to help the process of me buying all the hardware that I need, you guys can go right to the channel right here. You can go to my Streamlabs uh, link, and it's going to take you to the donation page. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get it spruced up to where it looks like a little bit uh, nicer because it's just everywhere. Let me just move this so you guys can get the look at the link right there. Streamlabs.com slash ADSP101. That's like the little message that pops up. You get like uh, the Majora's Mask character right there. Just lifting his, uh, it's also in the Ocarina of Time. Just doing that right there. So like I said, it's I'm not one of those people where it's mandatory for you guys to do it. Like, you don't have to donate, but it's appreciated if you guys did. You see the message right here. If only you know. If, if only you knew. <laughs> and on top of that, I want to plug in this, uh, the Halloween special. Got five games up for vote, you know, that range from being very funny to very scary. So depending on what you guys want for the Halloween special, hey, it's all up to you. So head to this video, leave a comment underneath, and let me know what game you're interested in seeing for the Halloween special. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I will see you guys for gameplay as usual. And I got a new logo coming too. Just want to plug that in.